How you doing today? This is Zach Allen. We're going to show you how to swing the club faster without moving your body any faster. Okay, there's so many players that I teach out there that are really struggling with a lot of effort and very little power. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. But before we do, please feel free to hit the like button or subscribe to my channel if you really like this content. It'll help us put more content and keep everything active and engaging. So let me ask you a question, okay? What seems faster, this swing? or this swing. Okay, so I think most people would actually say, well, the second one looked better, but what I, what I see most people doing is the first one out there. In, in an effort to swing this club as fast as they can, they're not creating any width or any swing radius, right? Radius is the distance from, say, my lead shoulder to my left hand, okay? The wider I can keep this radius, right, compared to a narrow radius, the faster my club's gonna go without moving my body any faster, right? It's the same principle of like when you watch a track and field event and they're going around the same uh, loop, but they're staggering in different positions because the, the person that's nearer the center has a shorter distance to travel. So we can use those same principles in golf. Um, when people end up swinging really fast with their hands and arms, they always negate what the body's supposed to do. So the body's gonna move and create width. Width is the distance from my hands to the center of my chest. Okay, so as I get into my backswing, here's a backswing that's creating some width. Okay, so even though my swing doesn't look very fast, the ball's gonna go far because I've got such a big circle. I'm also an avid biker, and I take my youngest kid out biking with me all the time. He has wheels that are 18 inches wide okay their radius is 18 inches and i've got a 29 inch wheel radius so it's not even close when we're riding together he's pedaling like this and i'm just making these smooth pedal strokes and that to me is just an analogy of a good golfer hitting with effortless power compared to a lot of people that i see out there just just struggling away trying to hit like that and the ball's still not going very far so the drill that I want to share with you to kind of get some of these feelings of how to create width, which also creates better stretches in the swing, is very simple. You can use it as a warm-up. You can use it as a drill to work on your golf swing. So you just grab the club, go ahead and just hold it below the, the, the butt end of the grip, and then have your trail hand just, just grasping the club head. From here, you're going to feel right away your chest is a lot more open. We're going to start to move to the top. Okay. Most people forget that you know the main the main instigator in creating width in the golf swing is not keeping your left arm straight. It actually mostly has to do with your trail arm. And this drill is just fantastic for that. So I get a little momentum, I swing up to the top, and right away, I feel a very deep stretch into my right hip, okay? That's a great backswing. You can hear it in my voice that I'm straining. That's totally different than somebody going up there and doing this, okay? And what we've learned is just that every inch that you gain in that swing radius, I'm pushing wider, 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 you're going to gain in club head speed. So maybe you're not going to get as wide as I am. I have pretty long arms, but if you can get one inch, two inches wider in swing radius, you're going to pick up some club head speed. You're going to add distance to your irons and your driver. Okay. So the second part of this drill, right, that leads into the downswing from here, as we get up to the top, I create that width. Now I can actually feel myself stretch and disassociate okay which is something that's impossible to do if you get to the top and you're here i, I can do this all day long there's no stretch in my midsection that's really crucial i just did a video about that about how important that stretch is for power so as we get to the top like this i can even start to practice that next step of leading with my lower body and all that width just coming around and following to my finish Okay, so from there, once you do a few practice swings, you can start to go a little faster. And the thing you'll feel right away as you do this drill, you can't go very fast, okay? But literally, I just hit the ball 300 yards. And that's gonna feel so different from the people out there doing that, okay? That think that that's power and it's not. So once you start to move, you'll feel that actually slower is faster. That's why some of your best shots felt effortless and smooth compared to the quick, um, you know, haphazard swings. 
So we've done a few of those. Now we're going to bring that into our golf swing. We're going to feel that stretch to the top and I'm going to feel that stretch to start my downswing as I enter halfway down. I could feel a good stretch along the left side of my body and then bring that all the way to my finish. And for people that don't believe it, um, I'll hit some shots. And if you watch here, I'm going to swing slower than I normally do. I'm going to try to swing at that speed, okay? Which literally feels like I'm going about five miles an hour. So I'll ask that to people compared to, you know, they're swinging like this and they're complaining they're not hitting the ball far. I'll go, okay, well, do you think you could swing that fast? They go, oh, for sure. That wasn't fast at all. Okay, so as you can see there, that produced 171 yards of total distance. Okay, I might have swung a little faster than the practice swing that I just demonstrated, but it wasn't much. It still felt very smooth and very effortless. But I guarantee that's the sensation that you're going to get as you start to practice these drills. You're going to start to feel what great players feel like of how they get power through width and through a wider radius, not through just slashing at the ball with their hands and arms. I hope that helps. Go out and give it a shot. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you next time.